I am Dr. Romano, professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Orgo Man products and the Dr. Destroyer book. I am here today with Professor Lewis Blois. He's a professor of mathematics at one of our local colleges and he is going to do a really solid problem that's going to help you for the DAD and the O exam. All right, Professor, show us what you got. Okay, this is one of these problems that have the following preamble. You've seen this before. In this question, compare the two quantities given using the information provided. If quantity A is larger, choose A. If quantity B is larger, choose B. If the two quantities are equal, choose C. If the relationship cannot be determined, choose D. Okay, so let's look at these two quantities. The quantity A, 4x plus 6 divided by 7, and quantity B is x with the preamble that x is greater than 2. Okay, now... The first thing that we, one, one immediate approach to this is to pick a number that's greater than two, like three, and we'll put it into each of those expressions. So let's see, four times three is 12, plus six is 18, and that's uh, over seven, and that's equal to two and four sevenths, and the value of x is three, so in the case of x equals three, quantity b is larger, but, how do we know that b is going to be larger for all values greater than 2? If we imagine these two expressions as straight lines, they intersect at some point. Where do they intersect? Is this the intersection point where the, uh, it not necess is it the one quantity is not necessarily larger than the other for the entire interval? Let's find out where they intersect to be absolutely sure. So what we're going to do is set the first expression, 4x plus 6 over 7, equal to x. Let's solve for x. Multiply both sides by 7, and we get 4x plus 6 equals 7x. Subtract 4x from both sides, and we'll get 6 equals 3x, and therefore x equals 2. Well, what does that tell us? If we, In our visual interpretation, it tells us that at x equals 2, that's the intersection point, and we're absolutely sure then that all values that are greater than 2, uh, x is going to be greater than the expression 4x plus, 4x plus 6 over 7. Therefore, answer is b. Quantity b is categorically larger. Okay, uh, now this is a, a, a a problem that's related to this just to review the equation of a line and how to find the slope and y-intercept of a line. In the xy plane, what is the slope of the line whose equation is 5x minus 3y equals 9? Well, the way to solve this is to put the equation into y equals mx plus b form. m is going to be the slope, b is going to be the y-intercept, where it intercepts the x-axis. Um, uh, so let's see uh, where it intercepts the y-axis, pardon me. So let's do that. Let's say 5x minus 3y equals 9. Let's add 3y to both sides and subtract 9 from both sides. And we're going to get this. We're going to divide all three terms by 3. And we'll get 5x divided by 3 minus 3 equals y. And once we have it in this form, we know that the slope is equal to 5 over 3, 5 thirds. And does that appear in our choice of answers here? Yes, it's choice D. And just as a, uh, a matter of fact here, the negative 3 is the y-intercept. That's where it intercepts the y-axis. So there we are, a little bit of a review of linear equations. Okay, I hope you really learn something from that videotape. Some of these questions are quite easy. Would you agree this was a fairly easy one? A oh, fairly easy one, yeah. Um, compared yeah. to the one we did the other day, which was, I thought, brutal, when you were doing all those graphs. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm still traumatized a lot. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Nuts. Sorry. At any rate, we'll see you guys in study group. If you got a question, send it to the study group, and we'll hit it for you. Good day to you.